Over the last year, law enforcement officers in Spokane have been sharply criticized for a series of officer-involved shootings. But tonight, a man is thanking the Spokane Police Department for not shooting him during a domestic dispute when he was holding a loaded gun. A voicemail he left for police tells the story. So easily you guys could have, could have taken my life. Um, and I thank you for not doing that. And I thank you for actually coming into my life. The unemployed carpenter says by not opening fire during the standoff, the officers involved have given him a new lease on life. In this KXLY4 exclusive, KXLY4's Jeff Humphrey is live at Sprague and Freya where the incident went down. Jeff? And Robin, just when you thought that notion that people should hold themselves responsible for their own actions had gone completely out of style, we found this man, Joe. Joe was just a hair trigger away from being shot by police here at this Chevron station. And if that had happened, Joe says it would have been entirely his fault. They had every right to use deadly force. I honestly believe that they did. I had a loaded gun in my hand. It's been two months since Joe was involved in an armed standoff with police near this Sprague Avenue phone booth. Tim Moses was the first officer to arrive on scene. He fled from the South Hill area. They gave out a description of his truck and I just happened to roll right up on him as he stopped. Joe wants to keep his identity a secret, but he's not shy about the mistakes he made when confronted by Officer Moses. I realized I wanted to be left alone. I didn't want any argument. I reached into my gun, into my truck and grabbed my firearm and, and pulled it out. Um, he was not following commands correctly. He was reaching into his truck for the gun. Um, and I've replayed that over in my mind a thousand times since then. I could have shot him right then. I could have shot him a dozen different times. We were 25 feet apart. I had put the gun to my head and told him to leave me alone. At one point, I imagine there was at least a half a dozen guns, including rifles, that were trained on this guy. Officer Moses is the one that talked to me like a human being, um, talked to me about my daughter. Uh, he's the one that treated me with, the, with, with just a, a huge amount of respect uh, as far as this being a moment of crisis and the police put the gun down. Uh, it seemed like I saw a light bulb go off. I know he heard me. It was at that time that, that I took the gun out. I, I unloaded the clip. I put it on the ground and then they took me into custody. The next day, Joe had a surprise visitor here at the Spokane County Jail. Here's a knock on my jail cell door and it's Officer Moses. And, and God bless him. He stopped there to check on me. And, and he promised me that every day will get better from that day out. And it has. I honestly believe that, that it should have ended differently. It should have ended a lot worse. But because of his actions and, and how he just so professionally handled a person in a moment of crisis, I, I think he really saved my life that day. And Officer Moses credits his training and his fellow officers for giving him a chance to end that incident without using deadly force. Even though Joe ended up jail, he was so grateful about the way the matter was handled. He left Officer Moses a long but eloquent voicemail. You can hear that thank you recording tonight on KXLY.com. Reporting live in East Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.